Hi, everybody. It's Sharon from Accidental Art Maker. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? This fine, beautiful Sunday at where I'm at. It's been a beautiful day. I have been um, recovering from a sinus infection. So I had originally scheduled this, like, gosh, I think for yesterday, yesterday morning, and then I moved it to tonight. So thanks for joining. Uh, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, Marla, if you're there, let me know. No, no sneaking around in the background, Marla. <laughs> okay, so you might be asking why there's two cameras, um, because uh, that's the best I could do tonight. <laughs> Actually, I have a third camera I'm going to be sharing sharing with you guys in a minute here. Um, so, so let me tell you a little bit about, about what I want to talk about tonight. And please join in and um, add your chats. In. And we've got Marla in the house. Marla's in the house. we got Amanda. Yay, Amanda. Amanda's husband came by and picked up something earlier. I'm glad you guys are both here. Sorry for canceling yesterday. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but um, I wanted to do this and um, then I'm gonna go make some pizza. <laughs> okay, so, so this is what I wanna talk about today. Um, I want to talk about, uh, uh, and you're welcome, Amanda. I'm glad you're having fun playing with them because uh, we're looking at molds today. We're looking specifically at, bugs. So we'll be looking at these closer. Don't worry. So one of the things I've been practicing uh, recently is, um, hey D, how are you? Thanks for joining. Uh, one of the things I've been practicing is, uh, Marla, you make me blush. <laughs> um, thank you very much. I'm learning to accept compliments. That's the other thing that uh, I'm really bad at. Um, but yeah, I don't like bugs. I don't like bugs. I'm not a big bug fan. Let's, we'll put it that way. I like them like when they're on camera, right? Like not when they're like right in front of me or crawling on a wall. This time of year where we live, and Amanda could probably attest to this, but we have stink bugs and they will literally cover the sides of houses here and they get in. I have no idea how they get into our house, but they, they specifically get into the bedroom I sleep in with my husband and they specifically like to manifest on my side of the room. And they're harmless, right? They're just a nuisance until you're sleeping in the middle of the night and you feel like that, right? And you I don't know. I slap myself. It's, it's not fun for me. I don't like these bugs. I kill like 20 a day and I don't like killing things either, but I do not want these, you know, what's in my house. So yeah, not a big bug fan, especially this time of year. And, um, what I'm, what I'm trying to do is, uh, the, the things that like, how do I, how do I get better as an artist? And, Perhaps it could be um, working with mediums or subject matters that I'm not comfortable with. You know, what can I learn from that? Can I push my creative boundaries that way? And so um, I, th I think the answer will be yes, because when I've done it, I've when I've done it with things that like pottery, for example, I still need to show you guys what my pottery looked like. Learning something new that I haven't done before, it was great. It was a great experience. Um, but sometimes as, um, artists, we need to challenge ourselves and, um, we need to challenge ourselves and we need to, we need to learn, we need to increase the scope of, you know, what it is that we're doing. I'm also like, I don't use molds that much. Like I'll go through phases where I will like molds, like when I'm working on pieces of furniture, um, but they're not my typical go-to, right? Like my typical go-to are stamps, transfers, and decoupage, and of course, paint. But molds is also another one. So I really wanted to spend some time with the molds from the re latest release. And I'm working with the bugs because they're the ones I look at and resist. And there's this expression that goes, what you resist, persist. So that's what that's what we're doing here today. So um, let's start with, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to keep talking here. Will this come up? 
Here we go. Okay, so you guys know I like to do these little boards, right? Like I like to have these little four by fours that I got from Amazon. If you want some, let me know when you place an order and I can throw some in because I have a million of them. And I like to layer paint. I like to use the stamps. You can see the veranda stamp there. Um, I like to add ripped up decoupage. You can see that that there as well. Um, and they're it's just fun. It's like it's a way to do the 10 minutes a day creativity because you don't have to invest a whole lot of time or clean up or, or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, so here I am just working on my, my little experiment boards here, the paint along the top there, that's the painterly from, um, DIY. Uh, let's see, there we go. Uh, and I wanted to see what it would look, I like highlighting things with the painterly there. So, different brushes, different stamps, stuff like that. So, um, so I'm enjoying this and then I put some stamps on, right? So here I am in my comfort zone. I got these little four by fours. I've got my stamps. I got my paints. Um, I haven't added any transfers to these. Um, and maybe I will, I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, so pretty straightforward, right? Okay, I think that's over. Is that film? Oh no, there's still a little bit more. Let's, we'll just, oh, oh I didn't wanna share that yet. Come back. Okay, so what I'm ultimately working towards is from when these four by fours is um, this suitcase that I've been working on. Here's the suitcase. So it's an old vintage suitcase and um, it's a little bit out of focus there. Sorry about that. And I painted it all these spring-like colors. And I uh, don't, uh, let's see here. Will it, it's still moving here, sorry. Um, it's been a while since I did, every time I do a live, I have to like, what did I learn last time about, about this? Um, so yeah, I painted this suitcase uh, and I'll show it to you here on the camera so you can see what it looks like. Uh, these different colors, I went back over it to tone it back a little bit with some um, with some white paint because it's like super duper bright. And I wanted to put a transfer on it. And I am going to, I'm gonna grab a suitcase cause it's right over here. Um, and so you guys can see ultimately what I wanna do, let me switch cameras back here. Ultimately what I wanna do is, I am flipping it. Ultimately what I wanna do is I wanna get bugs. I wanna put bugs on this, right? So that's the wander transfer, both sides right there. You can see the veranda stamp in the background. It's pretty, it's pretty, but how would I put bugs on this? And I don't wanna go all in um, and just start with bugs on this straight out. I want to, I want to experiment first <laughs> and see what kind of bugs I like. So to me, the wander transfer is this very playful flowers and um, very playful scenery. And so I want my, I don't want black bugs. I don't want, uh, you know, I don't want anything moody. I want something like that's kind of playful and, and fun. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, we experiment before we commit to like our larger piece of, art that we're working on. And now I'm going to share with you guys. I think I'm going to share with you. There we go. Okay. So this is the specimen mold that um, has the bugs on it. And so you can see me there. I've got the clay going into my mold. I'll jump ahead a little bit so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing the whole three minutes. But if you haven't used molds before, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. I take air dry clay. Um, you press it into the mold. You can see me wiping back with my thumb right there. And the molds have like this little micro rim. So you can take like your little transfer stick that you get from um, IO, from me or IOD when you get a transfer or like a credit card and you, you scrape it back and then you get your flat surface there. So the other thing about molds, especially this mold right here, 
is all those little bits and feelers, those little tiny legs and um, antenna and things like that. I have a real hard time getting them out of the mold and not, uh, not ripping them into shreds. So here I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get a closer look. I've already put cornstarch in the molds. If you don't know about the cornstarch trick, you just take a little bit of cornstarch on the end of a paintbrush and you, um, you brush it into all the nooks and crannies there. I like to pop them into the freezer because that helps me, let me get rid of this obnoxious QR code here. Let's see, hide, there we go. So that, because that helps me, um, it helps me win on, on all the fronts. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go, there's that. Let me just jump ahead here so you guys can kind of see towards the end. If you have not used molds before and you have questions, throw them in the chat and I will answer them. And if you're watching on this on the replay, please uh, let me know where you're watching from. And of course, now's the time where I'm gonna ask you to please like and follow if you enjoy my videos. I appreciate it. <laughs> it all helps. And then you can always find my story here. I'm at accidentalartmaker.com. I'm an online only store. So, all right, that's my that's my spiel for, for today so far. All right, so here I am. You can really see I'm scraping out there. I'm gonna switch over to what happens when you pop it out of the freezer. So here they are. I didn't do that really big, big bug mold there on the left-hand side because uh, it kind of was freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> when you freeze your clay, look, you see how I just popped right out there? It just popped right on out. Uh, oh, and I, I thought I had gotten an antenna there, but I didn't. That's uh, just a piece of the extra clay right there. And look, they're all coming out so easy. All the legs are there, it, they are intact. It is awesome. <laughs> With some tiny bugs back there. So what I did for today was I made these molds in advance and I've been having them set on um, mostly a kind of a flat surface and I've been letting them dry before I'm gonna put them uh, before I move on to the next stage. So when you take a mold and then you take it right out of the mold and it's clay and you glue it down on something, when it dries, it, it, it shrinks. And at the bottom is glued to a surface and it's, it's shrinking. The top will can get these lovely cracks in them. Uh, I didn't want that for the bugs. I didn't want like a vintage look for these. I wanted them to start drying by themselves without being glued down to a surface. All right, so now we're gonna introduce my next camera. Look how fancy that is. All right, let's see if I can find my camera. Okay, I'm gonna do this and we're gonna move this up here. Okay, so here we are. Um, I think I can get rid of this hide. There we go. Okay. So now I've taken, I've taken my, my little experiment boards there and I'm figuring out where I want these books to live. So I, I kind of like that kind of look like, you know, like maybe it was like, Sit floating on something in a wat in water or something like that. And if you guys have followed me enough, you know I like to start telling stories about the little critters or whatever it is that I'm that I'm working with. So let me get that in there so you guys can see it. And so I have just been playing around like with the putting the different molds on the different little four by fours here because I want to figure out. Before I paint them, I think I want to paint them separately and then let the paint dry and then put them down, um, glue them down on, on here. I like this one the most so far. That little tiny bug up there just hanging out. Um, and here's a big bug. Big bug. <laughs> okay, here's the biggest. Still kind of freaking me out a little bit here. Um, 
But again, what you resist persists. What can I do to make this look even, you know, how can I add this into my little experiment board here? I have been using different colors. So and I've got like a cottage colors here in the background. And then I got a little stamp here from pastiche. And I got my little bug right there, my beetle. And then I've got like this really straightforward. Oh, look, I met, kind of messed up here with the, you can see a little green mark from the, then you go, boom, and it's gone, right? <laughs> and then I can't remember if I've shown you guys this one yet, but then I got that guy right there, right? So, uh, so my brain is thinking, do I want one color bugs? Do I want one color bugs with um, some like wax in the cracks? You know, do I want metallic sheen on my bugs? You know, I want to experiment here and see, cause like the colors are kind of close to what I've got going on in my suitcase and the stamps and things like that. I really want to experiment with these bugs and get a feel for them before I commit to, to my suitcase over here. So uh, I hope that makes sense. Can I put transfers on them? Marla is asking on these little boards. Absolutely. Um, I've done that before. I don't have them within grabbing distance. Um, I could have put transfers on under underneath here and then put the bugs on top. But I thought what I would do for this round is just keep it super simple because I want to focus on, I might not like this, right? I don't know if I want to put transfers down. I could put transfers down on it afterwards. Um, like here, there'd be plenty of space for a transfer if I wanted to transfer. They do add an extra dimension. So like if you look at this right here, it's not a transfer, but it's um, some decoupage. And if you can if you can name that decoupage what it's from, uh, maybe I'll send it to you for free. <laughs> oh, transfers on the bugs. I think you could. I think they'd have to be dry. And you probably would want a coat of paint underneath them. And you would want a top coat. Uh, a top coat on. You know, Marla, I'm just going to try. I'm going to try. And then I'll come back online and share it with you and let you know. Um, but I know you could get you could get some transfers on these. Um, it, it might be a little bit disjointed because like, if you look at like this guy right here, I know I could get some transfers up here, but up in this area right here, it, it might not, might not come across as like a solid image. It might just be a little bit more abstract and that could be totally fine. So good question. I'm going to try it out, but I, I still do absolutely want to paint these first. So let's paint. What we're going to do is I'm, um, I'm just going to move these out of the way and I'm going to put the bugs down here. And if you're just joining us, let us know where you're watching from. Say hi. If you have any questions, just pop them in the chat. Uh, we've got some really wonderful artists on here watching. We've got D, Amanda, and Marla. And if I don't see um, your question, they, uh, they can answer it. And even if I answer it, they can still offer their own experience too, because uh, they've been doing this for a while. Okay, so here are my lovely little bugs, my little critters here, my, my specimens. And I'm going to start painting. I'm going to put up my, uh, my website right there. I'm trying to get good at this. <laughs> okay, so here's something else I'm going to do. I'm going to use my favorite colors. Um, I like painting with my favorite colors, right? If you've been following me for a while, you know I love uh, Kissing Booth. So we're going to start and we're going to paint one of these guys, or maybe a few of them. Open Sesame. Hold on one second, guys. Sometimes when you hit it on the floor. Oh, shit. I can't open it. Okay. I'm going to bang it on the linoleum floor. That should get it open. Now you're going to hear some horrible knocking. Hold on one second.
my husband's downstairs probably wondering what is she doing now <laughs> so let's see this will work you might need to seal the clay before adding a transfer to it yeah i think so i think i think you would need to paint it and then put like a top coat on it d is what i'm thinking okay we got kissing booth open i'm gonna grab a paintbrush here and i'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint this one, the one that bugs me the most, no pun intended. Um, I'm gonna paint this one uh, pink, Kissing Booth pink, because it can bring, maybe it'll make me, oh, maybe it'll make me change my mind. <laughs> All right, who has bug stories? Who has bug stories to share? Anybody here live in Florida? I bet you've got a million. A million bugs and a million stories. My my email that's going out tomorrow is kind of following along the same theme of um, trying something that you're not, you know, something that you normally would not do. It's along the same lines of that. So um, just kind of talking about, especially as we get, you know, we start we start getting older and uh, we, our brain, we start losing estrogen. If you're not on a hormone replacement, there's this fun thing called brain fog. <laughs> Smack the edge of the lid with your paintbrush handle. Oh yeah, I just hit it on the floor. Um, that usually works really well. It's kind of like the same idea. But um, yeah, as we get older, we get, uh, we get brain fog and we get, uh, you know, we get all kinds of things happening. We want to keep our brain active as we get older and we want to challenge our brain and we want it to grow, right? We want those, we want those neurons snapping. How do we do that? Well, art being creative is a fantastic way to do that. How do we, and, but if we keep doing the same thing over and over again with art, what are we really learning? How are we really keeping our brain alive and functioning? So um, so try something new. Like I just tried pottery a few weeks ago. I love it. I will, um, I'll share a video later on this week of how they turned out. It turned, it turned out good. I mean, there's definitely one in there that looks like I made it when I was five years old, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, the other ones turn out really pretty, really pretty. All right, guys, I got a big pink bug here. Now for sure, we're going to want to do um, I've got copper patina here. I'll put that on after it dries. This little, what is this? I think this is called like a stag beetle. I think that's what it is. And what are these things called? Mandibles up here. <laughs> but the mandible, let me move this around. Uh, I kind of broke a little bit. It's breaking right there is like a little crack. That's okay. It'll be all right. All right, so now we got our little pink bug in here. Oh, Marla lives in Florida. I forgot all about that. You you get millions of bugs then, don't you, Marla? Do you have alligators? How could I forget that you live in Florida, Marla? Because I haven't been doing my, I haven't been exercising my brain enough. <laughs> I've only sent like 20 million packages to you. <laughs> I'm exaggerating <clears throat> a little bit, but anyways. <laughs> All right, and we got this pink bug right here. They do testing. They do testing for anti-bug chemicals down here. Oh yeah, that would that would make me a little bit nervous. I don't know if I would want that. Uh, you know, getting into your water system, but they, I'm I'm sure that they take care of that. Okay, so we got one big pink bug right there. Okay. Let's, I'm going to do a tiny little pink bug right there too. It's very cute. Let me hold it in my hand. So the other good thing about when they're, when they've been drying, they're not as fragile as when they're, well, that's not true. They, when they're, when they're, when they're dry, they can, they can break obviously. 
but I feel like when, when it's like in this state, I have a little bit more flexibility with kind of cramming my, my paintbrush in there like that. All right, get in there. All right, we have another pink bug. All right, it looks like I killed it on my hand. Doesn't it look like I killed it? <laughs> All right, get off of me. All right, now I'm trying to keep these like flat, um, but it doesn't always happen that way. It's okay, they don't need to be perfect for these boards. Let me get this pink off my hands. All right, let's move on to another color. Yes, I'm funny. <laughs> My kids love how funny I am. Every day they wake up and they're like, Mom, can you do something funny today? And I'm like, sure. All right, now we're going to move on to 57, old 57. It's another favorite of mine. It's like this very light blue, pretty color. And let me get a paintbrush. All right. This guy's, this guy right here is screaming for some, some blue. All right, let's do that. Can you guys see that bug okay? Let's paint him. <clears throat> that looks really pretty. See, I, I figured if I was using my favorite colors, I could not, not like the bugs, right? Let's see here. That is very pretty. This is a pretty bug. I need a I need a name for my pretty bug. Somebody come up with a name, please, for this, this little bug. It needs a name. Throw me some guesses, guys. Little bug, you need a name. All right. All right, I love this color. Thank you. See what a good idea I had. See, I'm using my brain. Okay. Can you guys see that? Okay. I mean, there we go. I'm going to get this side right here. There we go. Get in there. Okay. Okay. Who, Marla, throw me some names. Amanda, throw me some names for the bugs. All right. I'm going to do this really big one down here in the same color blue because it's also kind of creeping me out. I cannot imagine seeing bugs that would actually be this big. Let's see here. I think the biggest bug I've ever seen is probably something, well, it was like a tarantula, but is a tarantula, is that considered a bug or is it Anacris, are they, aren't they like another genus or something like that or classification? I sound, I sound smart when I say that, but I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was for spiders. All right. Another pretty bug. Okay. I just love this color and now I'm loving the bugs. I've got mermaid tail, which is like a really dark color. And I like that one too. All right, let's get you in there. Okay. I don't know, I might just paint them all this color. Well, this would look really good on my suitcase, this color. Okay. Um, and then I've also got, and we're also gonna try some light pinks here too and a dark purple um, in the painterly. It probably won't be as solid as this paint right here, but that's okay. Or I could also use that as like a top to go on top. Like um, using the light pink on top of this could probably look really pretty. Okay. Can you tell I'm getting excited finally about bugs? <laughs> you need to come to Florida if you want to see bugs. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Bugs and alligators. I haven't been to Florida since I was a teenager, Marla, when we went to Disney World for like the second or third time. Okay, I really love this blue. Okay, so we got we got some good things happening. I'm gonna do one more blue. Okay, okay, this this one kind of does remind me of a little bit of a spider, like 
but it's got an antenna. I don't know if spiders have antennas. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to paint this one blue too. The rest of them aren't like freaking me out so much. All right. But this would be a great color. And I think the hot pink, the kissing booth pink would look pretty too on the suitcase. Let's get this up closer so you guys can see it. Books. Yeah, Marla, I'm pretty sure you ordered this one, right? Okay. And Marla, I've been meaning to tell you that I found and put into like an order of yours probably a few weeks ago, the fall, the decoupage from Recycle, the fall, I think it was fall botanical labels. But I tucked, I tucked that in for you as a little gift from you to me. Okay. So there's that guy. It does not look so scary anymore, huh? Okay. You're going to go down here. All right. And now we're going to do really dark one here. We're going to do mermaid tail. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's move things around here so you guys can see them better. Here we go. We got our bugs. Let's get another paintbrush. All right, now we got this really nice, pretty dark blue. Kind of want this one to be green because it kind of looks like a grasshopper. All right, let's paint this. I, okay, you cannot go wrong with these colors. Does anybody out there like the, I'm totally blanking on it. Amanda, you probably know the, it's not goth, it's a, uh, you know, the IOD sisters have been advertising specimens as this genre of art. Uh, what is it called again? Somebody help me out. All right, buggy. Um, I'm totally blinking on the style. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's... um. You know, it's got like industrial and it's got like, it'll have like cranks and knobs. And I don't know why it's like, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot remember the name of it. Okay. This bug is looking super cute. Let's paint its butt. All right. Steampunk. Marla for the win. Yes. Steampunk. Marla, you are with it. You are with all the trends. Okay. We're getting there, little bug. Let's see. I need a little bit more paint. Get in there. Okay. I like it. What do you guys think? Whoops. Oh, look, I'm crawling his antenna. All right. I'm going to put you down over there, and then we're going to paint something else dark blue. Uh, this guy's got pinchers, right? That's going to bite you. I don't like it that much. <laughs> So I'm going to paint it blue. <laughs> dark. Okay. Here's the other one. It's steampunk and then dark academy. Academia. I cannot pronounce it. Yes. And that one too. Both of them. They kind of cross over somehow. Um, so yeah. I'm loving the bugs too, Marla. They are just so approachable now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to paint this little guy this dark blue color but I have a feeling I'm going to have to like go in with pink or something and make it more approachable. I just don't like those pinchers. I guess I could break them off, huh? 
I don't know. What you resist persists. Okay. How do maybe I turn the pinchers like a, a copper? Maybe the pinchers are pink. So they look more like they're there for fun and games and not to, you know, take off part of my eye. Okay. Get in there. Now this is turning into fun for me. I was not really looking too forward to painting these guys, but I had a feeling if I use these colors, I'm gonna put them down because I keep taking paint off of them. But if I use these colors that uh, it might help a little bit. All right. There you go, little guy. I feel like these need to be named after like uh, the cast from a musical. Okay, let's paint this guy um, a dark blue right here. Get in those, get in those ridges. Yep. Exterminator, I'm sure they are. I, I can handle the bugs outside. I just, I just can't handle them in my bedroom on my face in the middle of the night. I'm just like, I don't know, for some reason it really bothers me. <laughs> All right. We are getting there. I'm trying to get all the cracks in there. Okay, there we go. I think this dark blue would also look good on the suitcase. The other good thing is since I'm not gluing these down yet to these boards is I can hold them, I can put them down in the suitcase. I can see if there's a particular bug type that I like, like a little cute one. Like I don't see myself putting this huge bug on my suitcase. Um, yeah, I don't know, unless that can turn super duper cute. You know, like the locks that come down on the suitcase, I could probably put it on top of that, but like, I want it to look really cute. Not like, I want it to look like, I, the way that I picture this suitcase with the bugs on it is like the bugs have had, or are having a party with the flowers. And they're all like flying around and having a great time together. So that's kind of how I'm picturing things. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I wanna do another pink one here. Whoops, come back paintbrush. All right, I'm gonna do this one pink. This one has got these, see if you can get it in there. You see like those little circles? That's gonna look really pretty with like some gold or silver on top. So if I paint it pink on the bottom and then you put the like a wax on top or a dry rub with a patina or something, it's gonna be really pretty. Has anybody out there done a project yet with these guys? Let me know in the comments. And if you're just joining, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know who's here. I didn't advertise this too much tonight, so we're not getting um, a lot of participation, but I have a feeling people will show up later. Okay. There we go. Okay, now you're cute and pink. Let me hold you up to the camera so people can see. Okay, four more bugs to paint. Now I'm gonna move on because I wanna see what happens when I use painterly on these guys. I have a feeling it's gonna be like a really light, whoops touch. <laughs> Louisiana lady is here from South Mississippi. Welcome. Welcome. I, I don't know if I've seen you before on my channel. So thank you for joining. Okay. So now I got my little painterly here. Let's see what how this does. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Okay. I thought it was gonna, maybe when it dries, but I thought it was gonna be a lot more translucent than this. Now we got a pretty pink purple bug. Do 
do you guys have a lot of bugs in i would imagine so in south mississippi especially if you're calling yourself louisiana lady i remember seeing some crazy spiders when i went to new orleans we did a swamp tour of course and they took us underneath this tree on the swamp tour and when we looked up it was full of spider webs and these massive spiders it was crazy i did not like that i'd rather i'd rather take on an alligator okay because i think i could scare an alligator i don't think i could scare spiders but i think i could scare an alligator that's what i tell myself at least okay let's let's get a little bit closer here with this purple Okay, I'm loving it. We got our, I'm gonna make sure we get down in these nooks and crannies right here. All the paint you see me using, I, I, I do have on my site for sale. It's called Painterly. This, the stuff in the tube is called painterly. And then it's, it's, it's a, it's, ugh, I cannot talk. It's for um, DIY also. Okay. I'm just trying to get all the white to be gone here. Here we go. Put you down here. A little bit missing back here and on the side i really like this purple huh okay i like this purple and i like this light blue i'm wondering what the two colors would look like together all right let's do another in the purple let's do it's like a purple and pink all right we're going to do this little guy right here I grew up in Virginia and we had, um, I think they were called Japanese beetles. Does that sound right? Japanese beetles. And they were very pretty, but I believe if I'm recalling correctly, they were like really destructive to roses. And we had like little lantern like things that would catch the beetles and kill them. All right, this is looking pretty. I might need a little bit more paint here. Get another little squeeze of my purple here. Gosh, it's been 45 minutes already. All right. Well, we're almost done painting these guys. And then I'm going to figure out... These still need to dry a little bit before I come back in, but I'll hold them up. I'll put them on the little card so you can kind of see on the experiment boards what they're what they're looking like now with color, but these definitely need um, a second, a second color on them to pick up all the little details from the mold on them. But it's super pretty. Okay, let's do this pink right here. You will go over there. We're going to move you back here and I want you to be pink. And you will be pink. Here we go. It's a great purple. It is. I, I feel like though, Marla, like I think it's really pretty, but like, I don't know, like, do you see like this purple? Like I could kind of see this purple going maybe with this color. Do you think it goes with the other colors here? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and this is a great pink. Very light. I'm kind of liking painterly. Like they, it seems more playful. Like these other colors, they seem a little bit more, more serious. And I wanted something playful for the suitcase that I'm working on. So I'm thinking that the painterly paint with a metallic shimmer or something would look really pretty on the suitcase. Let's see. Marla says yes. I think you're saying yes, maybe to the color combos. I'm not sure. Whoops. Oh, thank you, Louisiana lady. <laughs> 
I love making the videos. They're they're hard. They can be hard to do, but um, when I just jump on with a live, it just seems a lot more spontaneous than uh, some of the ones like I've recorded and put together. And then those always take me forever because I want them to be perfect. So I'm glad you love them. I like making them. I like hanging out here with you guys and um, talking while I make art. Um, it's something else I learned when I was in the making some pottery a few weeks ago is like being in the studio with, with other artists was just delightful. It was just so inspiring to see the different ways people were taking clay and transforming it and coloring it and the different shapes that they made. And like when they got frustrated, when things weren't working out, how they resolved it, you know, when you're working in a studio by yourself a lot, um, you don't get that. Whoops. I just broke off part of his little back leg right there, but you don't, you don't often get that. So I'm going to be going back and doing more pottery. I'm going to try, it's called dry, dry slab. And it's kind of more like, um, plates and trays and things like that than spinning on the wheel like that, that wheel is going to take some, some time to figure out. Um, I, I messed up all the time. I know it was only my first time I need to give it time, but like the dry slab, I feel like there's more room to incorporate the IOD molds into it. Gosh, turn on. I broke this little fella's antenna again or mandibles. I don't know what it is, but it's okay. It's gone. And I'm just breaking this one left and right. Okay. I'm going to put these pieces over here so that, cause sometimes you can, you see them right there. I can, I can glue them when I glue it down to the board. I can, uh, I can glue them with it and just see what it looks like. I just don't want it to look like I, yeah, I'm just like, I, I am not the most gentle person in the world in case you guys haven't figured that out yet. So it is not easy for me to, uh, not break things. <laughs> Especially delicate things. I'm like King Kong. All right. So we got our bugs. All right. Let's do a quick look at some of these. Um, like, let's pick this up. So remember, I still need to come in here and do another coat. But I don't know. This one's still kind of creeping me out a little bit. Maybe I need to do some something light and pink on it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so like, let's see. Okay, let's do this blue because that was really pretty. Let's put this one on a more, there we go. Can you see that? See how different it is from just the white? And this is bringing like an extra dimension to it. To me, this looks like it's, crawling on some like old wallpaper in an old in an old home or something like that but i could totally come back in here and do some metallic highlights you see down here in the abdomen those ridges i put a little bit of wax on my fingers like metallic wax and just rub along and wipe off um it's gonna look super duper pretty all right i want to find a, the bug for this i think it was this one right here yeah that works Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going, people. Okay, let's find a home for this guy. I think I had something like this for this guy. You can kind of see where I missed some, but that's all right. But see, like he's kind of like on a lily, plat, lily pad floating around some water or something like that. All right, let's find a home for you. This little fella right here. No, let's look at this. No. Oh, I think this will work. See, it's kind of subtle. Now imagine that with like, see the green in here? Imagine if I had some kind of green picking up in the bug right here. There's also pink in the background of this. I could put pink in here or I could just go all out and do like, again, like something metallic and shimmery on this guy. So love that. Let's keep going. Um... All right, and we got this little kind of creepy fella here. The one that looks like a spider. It's covering up my mistake. I feel like this board needs like a little bit more of a, it's a little bit boring. 
Maybe it needs two bugs. Maybe it needs three bugs. Okay, let's see here. Like the eggs. Okay, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I think it just needs another purple bug. I'm gonna cover up an egg like that. Oh, that's too many bugs. Got to keep coming up with ideas. Okay, let's see. Now we got this one that kind of already has a bug on it. So it could be something like that. It could be facing the other way, like, like that. Maybe at an angle. Something like that. Okay, we got some. I like the pink bugs. See, I like that. I just like it like that, like pretty straightforward. Put some more color on that the bug again here. Okay, let's. Oh, and I got got this guy. Now ah, that looks pretty cool. This is gonna be when I. Um, this is the kissing booth. It'll be like a really dark pink. But if I did um, some like a lighter pink on top of it, I think it would look really cool in here. So loving that. What do we have left here? Oh, we got some birds. Something like that. I think this will look something like that. I don't know. Okay. And then we got one more little buggy. One more little bug that needs a home. I think like this, oh look, it could just be like in the plant right there. Pretty simple. All right, guys. Well, that was fun. I'm not, I, I'm liking these bugs a little bit more. How about you guys? Are you like a little bit more into them now with this, uh, with this right here? Um, yeah, I'm very, I'm much happier with these guys now. So next up for me is to let these dry and then I'm going to come back in with a second coat. It might just be wax, like some metallic wax on some of them. For others, I might come in and do um, like another coat of paint and then wipe it back to fill in the cracks. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with these bugs. I'm not gonna glue them down to the boards until I'm completely satisfied with them. And I also want to, I want to play with them on the suitcase too. So I can see um, what it looks like on the, on the suitcase. I'm going to show you uh, Louisiana lady. Cause I think you got in a little bit late, but ultimately I'm trying to figure out um, how do I look like, make the bugs look like they're having a party um, here with these flowers. So, yeah. So I'm excited about that. It's a garden party. <laughs> They're going to be drinking tea. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's it. I'm going to sign off. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Give me a share. Um, it always helps to, um, you know, uh, the algorithm and all that stuff to have, uh, have somebody else share, share the Share the love. <laughs> I'm going to try and do another live this week. So stay tuned for that as well. If you have any questions while you're watching the replay, put them in the comments. I'll come back and answer them. And thanks so much for those of you who joined me tonight. I really appreciate your company. All right. Sharon, the Accidental Art Maker is signing off. Have a good evening.